Hi, my name is Mickey and welcome to another Cubase 4 tutorial. This is going to be part one of side chaining. And I'm going to show you how to do a side chaining with internal plugins from Steinberg VST3 version. Start a project here and tell you that this feature is available with a 4.1 update, right? So if you haven't updated yet, please do so. Let me change the tempo to 100, load some loops. I'm going to go F6 and listen to these loops. All right, I think I'm going to use that one. Um, I need drums. Okay, good enough. All right, let me change the color here and rename these tracks so it's going to be easier for us to actually make a difference where we at. All right, let's hear how it sounds together. It sounds good, right? But something's missing. The blending always between the drums or kick and bass is always the critical to the beat, to the groove, and the dynamic of the whole band. So we often use the side chaining as a feature, as a function of our hardware, and this time we have that in software as well. So the theory behind this is putting the compressor on the track that we want to trigger, here in dynamics compressor turn on the side chain basically activate and go now to the track that we will trigger with and that track we're going to actually send to the side chain here auxiliary right do the pre fader so it's going to sound a little bit like this. So the bass is still there. It's now triggered with the dynamic of the drums. So we can tweak a little bit and have the attack really fast, the fastest possible. We can tweak the ratio and the threshold. We're going to do that later on. So you see now, even if I'm actually uh, uh, increasing the volume of the bass, it still gets triggered according to, uh, to the kick. And I can play with this and really create uh, nice dynamics, especially when I have much more instruments than here. It would be crucial to make that blend uh, between the bass and the kick as best as possible because I get to hear the kick, I get to hear the sound of the bass, and uh, everything is grooving. Now, for those who actually use loops like I did it here in this example, and want to actually have more flexible results here, obviously we use the drum loop here, so how are we going to do this to make it sound like kick? Well, usually I duplicate a track. This is a bonus trick here. I'm going to call this one drums now. I'm going to turn off any compression here because it's going to be really the drums. This I'm going to rename into the kick and try just to filter out the frequencies, right? So I'm going to go and say low pass and try to put it at 600. Move to drums and high pass and try that at 900 let's see what we got that's with kick only so now you can blend these two things and uh, have fun with uh, creating groovy music all right till next tutorial have fun with your cubase